lovely panel. I am your host, Slade the Aqua Dragon. Really quick note before we get down to business, I just want you to know that me, this lovely dragon right here, Slade, I use he, him pronouns, and the very, very scary flesh endoskeleton inside of me, I use, I use he, they. So, Real talk, 2020 has been a really rough year for everybody. So over this next half hour, I'm gonna kill you! <laughs> so over this next half hour panel, we're gonna go over a list of things you can do to relieve stress. Number one, yoga. Let's move on. All right, one of the things you're gonna wanna do is drink lots of water. There's one spot I can think of to get enough water to suffice this Waqua Dragon. Oh, no. Another good thing is watch old con videos. It kind of makes it feel like you're there. Playing with a pet is a great way to relieve stress. Aww. Oh. I don't know where she's going. I can't see her at all. <laughs> Scream out all your frustrations. Punch anything that reminds you of COVID-19. <laughs> Pretend to travel the world with Google Street View. All right, thing about Corona, you're locked in. But hey, with Google Street View Maps, you can explore the world. This is not really something you get to see all the time. But hey, you know, you never know what you're going to find. Hold up. Thank you. <laughs> Bow to your shrine of dragons. Cry, but while holding a stuffed animal. <laughs> <laughs> or even better, cry while holding a real animal. <laughs> you know what? All that I think either made me sadder or did kind of negative things for me. So you know what? We're gonna just stick with yoga. All right, so really important topic before we get into it. We need to talk about your body limitations. I know personally, I am not the most flexible person and a lot of these yoga poses will reflect that. But one really important part of yoga is being able to recognize that and not pushing your body too hard. Yoga is learning how to stretch your body more and more over time, not all at once. 
So make sure to keep in check your personal body limitations. If you're following this at home in your fursuit, like you should be, there's also another important thing to take into consideration, and that's your fursuit's ability. I know my big old tail, my really big old tail, is gonna get in the way of a lot of poses. And some of the poses I chose reflect that. Now, a lot of the poses that we're gonna be doing is gonna be pretty basic, but that's okay because we don't need to go advanced right now. We're just gonna have some fun while relieving stress and getting your body in a better physical shape. Now let's get going. All right, so before we dive too deep into it, we're gonna start with some stretches. We're gonna loosen up our body and prepare it to do some yoga. So first, you're gonna take your right hand, tell me to stop. Take your other, put it right at your fingers like this, and then gently pull back, kind of like that. You're gonna hold that for about five seconds, let it go, let your hand go down. Then do the same thing, but pulling the wrist the other way. You're gonna do it the same with this hand. Stop, fingies and pull. Let it go down and pull. Perfect. Stretch it out and cross your arms a bit. Take your arm, put it behind your elbow and pull back towards your chest. Five seconds, let it loose. And then do the same with the other arm. Perfect. Now you got a T-pose for me. Bring your legs down together. And then you're going to, one arm at a time, rotate it forward. Five. And then do it the opposite way. Same thing with this arm. Forward. And backward. Perfect. Kind of get the shoulders all loosened up, wiggle it out, and then we're going to work on the head just a little bit. Give it a look up, and then look down. When doing these movements, make sure not to move your head too fast. That can damage your neck. Side. The other side. And very slowly rotate it around. All right. Now the rest of the stretches for the rest of your body are going to be done during yoga. So first pose we're gonna do is one that we're gonna come back to a few times. We do it between each section. This is called mountain pose. You put your feet together, then you take your palms, bring them together, put them in front of the heart and stand straight and tall like a mountain. Here you're seeing some images of some of my friends who got into suit just for me to show you guys some of the poses that they did. So you can see it among multiple people. After the mountain pose, we're going to move on to our next one where we go into chair pose. Very fancy, I know, and ignore that I'm voiceover right now. It's totally not that the audio is messed up, you know, whatever. <laughs> anyway, here you're going to rely deeply on your thighs as you stretch your hands upward. You can touch palms if you want or just keep them separate, but you got to make sure you can feel that stretch in the lower back. Next pose. All right, this pose is heavily reliant on balance and that is very difficult in digigrade legs, but here you're just taking your knee, putting up on your thigh and taking your hand straight up in the air. Now you are supposed to reverse this, but as me, a himbo, I didn't do that, but take your time and also do the other leg. All right, we're gonna do the warrior poses now. So first time, you're gonna put your back leg out. You're gonna bend it, 
take your front leg, put it on as far as you can, bring your hands up. And then you go into warrior two after holding it for five seconds. Now that you've successfully done your warrior poses one way, you have to flip and do them the other way. You gotta give both legs the same kind of treatment. It's not fun, but it's also fun at the same time, you know? Good old challenge. Not me freeze framing it to make it look like All I right. can hold that pose. <laughs> Alright, for this pose you have to spread your legs again, kind of like you're standing shoulder width apart, maybe a bit further, but then after that you take your hands out on a cartwheel, put it down, you gotta touch your foot, and if you can, reach your hand up, there you go, straight up towards the sky. Very lovingly presented by my fellow furry friends. And then the revolve triangle is switching my legs. Now revolve triangle is a little bit more difficult. You gotta switch which leg is in the front, and then not only do you have to do the same stretch down, but you have to put your foot, in, uh, your hand instead of behind your foot, in front of your foot, and still reach the other one up straight above you. It can be quite difficult, and it can be approached in multiple different manners. After doing the revolved triangle the other way, it's time to move into intense side stretch pose. Pretty easy, you cross your arms behind your back, spread your legs the same kind of way, one pointed uh, parallel to your body, one pointed in the same direction, and then hold for five seconds both way. Now we are going to move on to our next segment, so we come back to mountain pose. We are going to recentralize ourselves and then move down to the floor. Right now we're moving into a very well-known popular yoga pose, the butterfly, where you put the bottom of your feet next to each other and then hold it with your paws. Next we move into bound angle pose, which is keeping your feet still together, but rolling your arms back, putting them behind you, and kind of stretching out your back.
straight out of the bound angle pose, we're going to actually go into seated twist, which is crossing your legs, bringing one a little further out, using the opposite side arm, grabbing that ankle, and then taking the other arm and putting it behind your body, twisting your back and looking over your shoulder. A seated forward pose is something you see in a lot of stretches. Here we're doing our best to lengthen our back, touch your toes, and if you're super flexible, you can reach your hands beyond your feet, or if you want to do it pro move on the floor, but if you want to get your head between your knees, stretch as far as you can. Downward dog. Oh, it's time. done with downward dog we're moving an upward dog it's the exact polar opposite stretching your back in the opposite way it's still very important not as popular but honestly I kind of like how it stretches me better Now, contestant for one of my least favorite poses, but a necessary one at last, is the plank. Now, here I am doing my arms straight. You can do them bent like Myron has done here. Either way is fine due to your stretchability. As a reward for finishing the plank, I get to go into child's pose here. This one's a lovely stretch. You just Put your butt on your ankles, lean down, stretch your arms ahead of you as far as you can go. Contrary to my childhood belief, this is apparently actually bridge pose. Now here, all I'm doing is laying straight on the floor and then putting my arms flat on the floor, my legs bent ahead of me, and yep, Myron shows it really well on his suit, just lifting up your pelvis and going as straight as possible up as you can. Now we're getting into some really difficult poses here, but you gotta stretch yourself backwards. Best way to do it is roll your arm backwards, in my opinion. It kind of repositions your back for you, and then you have to grab your ankles and lean as far back as you can. Now this pose is definitely the hardest, but you know, hardest for one of the last. You're going to get on your belly, going to try to grab your ankles and pull your chest and ankles up towards each other as far as you can. It is quite difficult for me. One last pose, and I think it's the best one.
was a great workout. Now, if you ever want to go and have yoga with me again, I'm going to shamelessly promote myself and tell you my brand new YouTube channel, Slay the Aqua Dragon. I hope you guys have a lovely rest of your MFF and we'll see you later. Bye. So you may notice that there's like another 10 minutes left. It's not really a half hour long video. So I kind of ran out of footage, but we're not going to, we're not going to focus on that. Instead, I have a lovely clip from MFF 2018 Fursuit Yoga, and I thought we could share it together. Kind of like relive the moment. I think that's a good idea. Yeah. Okay. So what we're basically going to do as we cross, we're just going to do some final back stretches and we should be done. Okay. Just to loosen everything back up. So breathe in. And breathe down. Just try to touch the ground as much as you can. Remember, listen to what your back says. Do not overdo it. I will take what my suit says first. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> you don't want to rip any butts. Ooh, no. <laughs> oh, oh, look at the back. Hold uh, on. Alright, back up. And then use your elbow if you need onto the ground. Stretch as much as you can. Try to oh. make sure your oh. legs stay strong. <laughs> oh, well. Okay. Yeah. And this may drop me far into it too. It's either a tight suit or a tight back maybe. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, 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 yourself back it's up. Fun. Yeah. I may only wear one more time. I'll tell you that. That's perfectly fine. All right, and then into the other side. Crawl out. Ooh. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. 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 Curve around the edges if we gotta. 
Everyone yes, has become some. feral. <laughs> <laughs> On your hands and knees, and then this lean your butt back into it. Oh yeah, I'll do this one too. You guys all don't fit in one. Oh, there we go. You alright? Oh. Yeah, I just about to move my head to the photo. I'm just looking down. I'm just looking down. Yeah, I'm looking straight down. My head, however. Yay. <laughs> oh my god, that's terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> the snoot groups against the floor. Alright. Let's move into the other one where we arch our back towards the ground but head off towards the sky. Okay. Cat oh. and cow is what I Yeah, cat and cow. Yeah. Like my yoga DVD doesn't quite say the names of it. <laughs> Alright, then go back into hands and knees, release everything, and we'll sit here while we figure out our next place. <laughs> Do we, do we want to do Proud Warrior? Yeah. 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 All right. Let's get up. All right. Let's face towards this wall. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So for this one, we should be able to line up straight, so everyone should be able to get in. So get in between me and Chewie. Single line. A single line. Close as you need to be. Swap with you. Did everyone get in? Oh, uh, Red Dog is working on it. There we yeah, go. Yeah, actually, I have all these. I'm being cut. <laughs> um, I have no problem with this, by the way. In the this front, back up a little bit. <laughs> yeah. There we go. All right, now you're going to take your right leg and point it towards the mirror, towards the cameras, I should say. Face your head towards the cameras. Arms out in T pose. And bend that knee. Ooh, proud warrior. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and bend up. Nice. <laughs> this is very tight. <laughs> um. We got two minutes. Two minutes? Anyone else have another idea for a pose? Like tree pose? Tree. tree. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> well, just dead on the ground. <laughs> dead pose? I'm just yeah. pointing dead on the ground. I'm a dog pile pose. Dog pile pose? Oh, nice. Okay. Dog pile pose. Where everyone's destroying me by punching me and kicking me pose? No. <laughs> <laughs> what about everyone looking up in the air? I like oh, that one. Oh, that's <laughs> <laughs> good. Because we have people in the air. Nice! Rise! Rise! Listen. Wait, you guys ascend her? <laughs> Chewy, you're gonna break yourself. Right! <laughs> 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 too fat, honey. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I tried. <laughs> uh, if no one else has any other suggestions? Have you dabbed? Dab? Dab. Find the dab pose. Oh god, no. <laughs> oh, I'll give that one. You know this is a yoga panel. I feel you should advance dab. Is that F U dab pose? <laughs> okay, look, look, look. There are multiple kinds of dabs. There's this dab. There's this dab. There's a leg dab. But then there's also the Jesus dab. Jesus dab. <laughs> <laughs> just stabbed on the cross. That was before they came up. I was really proud of that. <laughs> you don't get dab. Uh, a thing, a thing you should what do is take your GoPro and take on the snoot somewhere. Alright, so that is all. That be I say it's time for dead pose. Uh, uh, oh, damn, I'm getting my camera back. Oh, I can get everybody nice. Everybody. More lying again? Bye. <laughs> you got a tail for a pillow. <laughs> Two people have your tail for a pillow. Hey, buddy. Hey, useful. <laughs> yeah. I don't know whose tail I'm on, but it's kind of poking me in the stomach. It's the giant tail. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, and then they all went to sleep. Yeah, I'm really close to that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Someone's snoring or purring? Yes. Yeah. Yes. 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 Yes.
Silver Gato Man, he bought me a coffee. Silver Gato Man, here is the song for thee. He likes to video all the panels at the cons. You should go and watch them whether they are short or long. Silver Gato Man, you video that's not a jibe. All of you go to his YouTube channel and like and subscribe.